Assalamu alaikum guys. I never made a video of my reverse story and I'm really excited to tell you my story. I was born in Lithuania and Lithuania is a really really small country in Europe and basically the majority there are Catholics and so was my family as well and I remember that I used to go to the church on Christmas and sometimes on Sundays as well, but I really didn't like this church. You know, guys, the thinking they had about God, the churches, you know, it was really strange because the idea was you can sin during the whole week with all kinds of sin, but if you go to the church on Sunday and you give money to the church, then you confess your sins to the priest and after that you eat the body of Christ and your sins will be forgiven. The way of thinking, you know, this is what it looked so strange for me. And I was still really a child because in Lithuania I was living during 12 years. After that I moved to Spain. Basically, this was one of the reasons why I didn't like the churches. Of course, being a child, I still didn't think about the life or the existence. But as I was growing up, I could realize that Catholicism couldn't be a real religion. And when I was 12 years old, my parents moved to Spain. And in Spain, I didn't go to the church. So in Spain, I had no religion. I still didn't search for God in Spain yet, but I was already having some kind of question about my existence, about why I'm here, what am I doing here, what for, what's the reason of everything, you know? How does everything exist and what for and just so many questions that I didn't find answers. And during all of this years I was also um, discovering more religions like Buddhism, Hinduism, even horoscopes, um, paganism. I was reading about everything, literally about everything because I was so desperate because I really needed to find the truth. During these years guys I was I could even say I was dedicated to find the truth because I was extremely tired of living without purpose. Because if you guys, you don't know why are you here, what is your purpose of life? Of course, you achieve some goal, you achieve another goal, you do something more, but what for? Is your inner being feeling good with all of it without knowing the truth? No, for me it wasn't enough. I needed to know the truth. And I was asking God, I told him, please, please give me the truth. I don't care what truth it is. I just need to know it. I was so desperate that I was even thinking that I will die without knowing the truth. And the worst part of all these years, guys, was ask for something to God, pray to God, and even don't know if He's listening to you if your prayers will be answered. You even don't know who you are praying to. You just really don't know. I didn't want to put a face to God, but at least to be like sure He exists, of course I knew it. 
not the same, you know, you, you just pray, but you don't know to who you are praying. Just imagine you right now to pray, but you are not Muslim, you are not Jew, you are not Catholic, you are nothing, but you are just praying, 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 and asking for help to God, but you don't know who is the God, and you don't know just like nothing. <laughs> That was really hard. Yeah, that was extremely hard. So many years of asking, praying, without getting the answer. And you know what happened then? After that day that I was crying so much and asking God for help, for the truth. Nothing at all. Like three and a half years passed again and only then I had a trip to Istanbul yeah I booked a trip to Istanbul without any expectation I was even didn't like really searching for the truth anymore like really I stopped to reading about religions I stopped to asking God well like I didn't do anything I didn't do nothing at all anymore so when I arrived to Istanbul <laughs> the first time I heard Azan I'm not going to lie I not hated it but I really didn't like it I was thinking why these people are screaming so loud what for and yeah of course <laughs> Probably Shaitan was doing Baswasa or something. So I was really ignorant at that moment. I discovered Blue Mosque, and in Blue Mosque, where were a lot of books about Islam in several, several languages. And I also found one book in Spanish, and I was thinking, hmm, Islam, why not? I will take the book and I will read about it. And then I back home to Germany. I was starting to read this book and my my brain like just exploded. All these years that I was searching for the answers to thousands of questions about the existence and basically everything. And then to find all the, well, not all the answers, but really a lot of answers in one just little book. Wow, wow, I was, that was extremely crazy. I, was, I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe that what I was reading. about it wow of course I didn't took a shahada because I even didn't know I have to take shahada after that book I started to read something more about Islam every time I had another question I just google it and uh, I just wrote um, what do Muslims think about it or yeah just in Google you know it convinced me so after some months of research maybe it was three months of research I took my Shahada in November 2020 Alhamdulillah so the question is why I reverted to Islam it's just because I couldn't deny that Islam is a truth it has no contradictions it has answers to everything and if you don't believe in Islam, just make a question and research for answer and you will have it. Maybe you will not like it because you don't have a basis of Islam. But it doesn't mean that if you don't like it, it is not the truth. The human brain can imagine a lot of things. The imagination has no limit. But how do you know that the idea is the truth? How do you know that this idea came from God? You cannot know that. 
So that is why I read the wall books about the religions, to see if it has contradictions, to see if there's something wrong about the thinking, about the logic. And when I read Quran, I saw that there is no contradiction and I just couldn't deny the truth. It's you must read the whole Quran to see it. So that is why I reverted. Islam gave me peace. Islam taught me how to live and I'm still learning how to live. I hope my story can inspire someone and even to Muslims to help to increase their faith. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. سنريهم آياتنا في الآفاق وفي أنفسهم حتى يتبين لهم حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق. When truth is hurled against falsehood, falsehood perishes, for falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. They, the disbelievers, want to extinguish the light of Allah with their mouths. But Allah will perfect His light, even though the disbelievers hate it. It is He who sent His Messenger with guidance and the religion of truth to prevail over all religions. And you see the people entering into the religion of Allah in multitudes. The world embracing Islam. Comment. Follow us. Please like. Subscribe.